Okay, firstly the edition. Um, we have added an extra chapter to it and separated one chapter into two. Uh, and the plan behind this is firstly to uh, respond to the public uh, feedback we've had uh, related to looking at ways of making it clearer and, and more concise for students to understand the concepts or themes that are being used in these tools. Um, for example, the activity-based management type topics, uh, we're covering those using the same type of measures, but doing it in a way that is appropriate for the purpose of the report you're doing it. So it was a stepping through the whole process so that at the back of the book there is definitely more comprehensive questions like in any book but we tried to actually link it as a progressive scaffolding to, to those questions. The latter chapters are meant for the advanced management accounting courses or the master's courses. They've been written in a way, as I say, you go across the themes, but by going across the themes you might look at the more technical aspects, mechanics of it all. But they've been written in ways which you can then drill down or go in depth to the theoretical backgrounds to them. Like in the chapter for strategy we talk about different pricing strategies, we talk about positional business strategies, we talk about how you would do that with some sort of participation uh, through the management process uh, and it goes through a, a level where you could cover some of these chapters over two or three weeks depending on the uh, academic freedom of, of, the, of the academic themselves but it, and also suited to their course. Uh, by putting it together you can go across and just cover the five topics perhaps in four or five weeks or if you wanted to go down you can do over 13 weeks the way you would actually drill down on them. Um, and this to me is giving some flexibility for the students to use the same book for more than one course and also uh, for those that only have one undergraduate course may want to look at it for their masters or master professional accounting because of the extra topics which need to be on a level nine in in the masters course